What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're doing really well. In this video, we're going to be talking about why the VVverse showrooms could revolutionize the VV community forever. Before we do this, I just want to give a huge shout out to Akomi for coming on to my most recent video and just sharing a really positive comment with me. You know, it's great to see that my uh, content's not just being well received by the community, but it's also being well received by Vivi and Akomi as well. So hugely grateful for that. Thank you for coming over and sharing your thoughts with me. Now, the next thing I want to do is just let you guys know I do have a Twitter profile. So if you weren't aware of this, I'll leave a link in the description below. Go drop me a follow. I share all sorts of different stuff about me, uh, about the collectibles I'm picking up, and just chat with you guys. So be sure to drop me a follow if you're interested. Now, <clears throat> the main aspects of this video we're going to be touching upon is some of the feedback or some of the questions that were answered uh, inside the AMA that happened uh, between Trevor and Reese um, most recently. Now, if you guys weren't aware, there are new virtual showrooms coming into this space uh, in the foreseeable future. Now, one of the key uh, quotes or takeaways I took from the video was, is that Reese said that the VVverse is fundamentally being created to create more capacity for your collectibles. Now, I thought that was pretty important to think about uh, and talk about in this video. Um, just before we go on to the culture side of this and how I believe it will really build this community out, um, we need to sort of understand where we are in this timeline of events, okay? And in some ways, we have to understand that the VVverse that we're going to see the first time round um, isn't necessarily going to be this final product we'll see in the next three to five years. You know, Trevor touched upon this. You know, they're going to be bringing out different patches and different updates uh, and just uh, constantly talk to the community and involving it over time. Now, uh, when we hear what Reese says about that, you know, about it being fundamentally about the collectibles, it, the, the original, the, the starting point of the VVverse, we have to we have to remember that this is the the core aspect of what VV is about. The gamification and the other aspects can uh, come in further down the line, but to stick to the fundamental roots and the core of what VV is, this collectible digital marketplace uh, where you can highlight your collectible space as well, is super important. And you know, one of the funny parts that Trevor said, you know, the current showrooms are a little bit crappy. You know, they're okay, but they're no way at the same level as the the collectibles that we're seeing and the upgrades we're seeing within the collectibles. So to see these two synergize together, and I will touch on this a little later, is going to be huge when we consider how this, the effect this could have on the community and essentially the viral the virality of the wider community as well, externally and internally. Now, when we consider the showrooms, I think it breaks down into two different aspects, okay? Or I think it, yeah, breaks down into two different areas. We've got the VV collectibles, okay, uh, which is one aspect. Now, what I mean by this is when we consider... Uh, the type of collectibles that people own. You know, there are people out there right now that have way rarer collections than, say, like me or anyone else in the queue. There are some serious investors into this. You know, they have full collectible, uh, the full series two of the, of the Powerpuff Girls, which I know we'll talk about quite a lot, but it's a super rare collectible uh, set. You know, there's only ever going to be 150, uh, 150 master collections, and that's not included some of the collectibles they've already taken off the market, and also some people owning duplicates. So, uh, but my point behind it is, is that inside the showrooms, being able to highlight these collectibles um, is going to be pretty huge. Uh, and having that sort of ability to move within the VVverse, uh, to go into other people's collectible spaces, to actually to, to see some of these really rare collectibles, um, I think is going to be very, very uh, huge long term. Because as series two, can, uh, season two continues, season three, season four, season five, these collectibles, we're going to find that people that had season one, their collectible spaces, their showrooms, are going to be incredibly desirable to go and see. Uh, and that they touched upon potentially adding a, um, someone could add like a toll fee. So you could charge like a $1 fee uh, for someone to come in and see your collectibles. Now, I actually think that's a really cool concept because if you can imagine, um, you know, would I pay $1 to go and see a Donny? Yeah, I probably would. You know, I've never seen one in the VR, uh, in, the, uh, in the AR, sorry, in the VR. So, you know, I would definitely be interested in going through and seeing some of these like really OG collectible spaces. And, and as we see this vision develop, I think it will just breed into the community further. Uh, this aspect of, uh, of not just the history behind the collectible showrooms, but also the idea of um, of people that uh, of new users wanting to come in and just and just see what it was all about in the beginning. You know, I think it'll be really cool when we think about the highlighting aspects and the and the development of this community. Now, another aspect is is that the showrooms also create uh, authority in the collectibles. 
Uh, and that sort of breeds into what I just said before about, you know, there are people out there that have really, really desirable collectible spaces or collectibles. Uh, so uh, if you could imagine uh, what it'd be like to go and visit one of these showrooms, um, you know, the people that have these really OG collectibles, these low serials, um, I think it's going to be massive when we consider uh, the overall long-term scope of what the VVverse is going to be like long-term. And the next aspect I think this breaks down into essentially is community, okay? And I, I break this down into two different areas. It breaks down into internal community and it breaks down into external community. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to explain what I mean by this now, okay? Now, let's talk about the internal community first. Okay, the ability to be able to to travel between different collectible spaces. Okay, if you think about this being all underneath the VVverse, that's what I'm gonna do here. This is like the blanket of the VVverse or the first uh, like iteration of the VVverse. Um, being able to travel to people's different collectible spaces creates internal community culture within the VVverse, which is critical for long term success uh, because it's gonna keep people people's attention inside of this space. Um, and having different people that have different collectible rooms or different rarities of collectibles and being able to travel to them and be able to see what it'd be like to own these or uh, is, is going to be huge. It's going to create this internal community and culture. Uh, and this is why I actually believe the Vverse is really going to revolutionize uh, the way the way VV is perceived. Uh, because when you incorporate both quality of product and also quality of showroom inside of this metaverse, the Vverse, we're going to see some serious internal, um, these internal culture, as well as this building effect of this external culture, which we're already seeing now. The external culture breaks into stuff like memes and uh, and and different things that we're seeing within social media. Uh, and just one thing I wanted to sort of touch upon with you quickly is sort of the VV Art Show. I think this is a perfect example of what we could see continue uh, to sort of grow in this community is people sh uh, like highlighting their collectible spaces and and sort of not and, and I guess showing them off in the art show and getting people more involved creating memes you know I've seen some crazy creations um I don't know where the picture was I saw the other day of someone that created this this flower effect uh, with their collectibles and uh, you know I saw Trevor share it you know it's one of the most expensive flowers he's ever seen it was just insane you know he had bubbles in there and all sorts of the original like Todd Batman it was it was crazy you know and the point is is that this viral external community is going to shift when we consider the, the, the increase in quality within the actual showrooms themselves now uh, you know, I just think this is going to further bleed into this community aspect and this community feel that we're already having, you know, there is a great feel within this community now and, and this is going to be catchable, it's going to be tangible uh, and, and when we see this sort of go into different aspects of social media and this internal community build in the VVverse, I think we're really going to see this develop and shift and change. Now, um, we're, I'm just going to quickly show you as well uh, some ideas about different virtual showrooms that already exist. Now, I'm not, these are, this is just theoretical, so don't take this as in like this is the first leak of the VVverse because it's not. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to show, show you and show you potentially what they could look like. You can see, you know, this is a more luxury feel. Imagine what it could be like if you were to walk into some sort of uh, one of these classic collectible spaces. It's almost like a museum for Vivi now with uh, all these OG collectibles. You know, you can imagine seeing Donnie at the back. Uh, you can imagine seeing so the Powerpuff Girls line, the first ever statue or artist uh, release in the corner of season one. Uh, you can imagine seeing the first ever animated rip mode just jumping about, you know. Uh, the point is you could see how this community could develop inside of these new VR uh, VR spaces. I thought this is a pretty cool uh, aspect to touch upon. You know, potentially having a sort of, um, you know, you can, you can imagine maybe putting your Kripkins on here on these sort of metal sort of uh, uh, showcases. Uh, which I thought was really cool and I thought I'd show you. And then you've got here as well, maybe you can imagine these breaking down to different seasons. You know, you've got your season one here and some of your favourites. Your season two here, you've got some maybe some of your stable collectibles that maybe one of, maybe you bought the first Ron English collectible. So you want to have his one sat here, pride in place in the centre of your showroom. Now, you can see how this will all bleed into uh, the different sort of community aspects of Vivi. Super important to consider when we think about the long-term scope of this vision and the long-term sustainability of where this vision is going. Now, the last thing I want to touch upon with you guys before, uh, before I leave you on this video um, is some some of the updates that they, they sort of had within the AMA. Now, um, the reason I left you to the last of the video so I could touch upon the main meat and potatoes, if you're still here, these are some of the updates I took away from it as well, is uh, 
you know, they're working on tools for easier placements within the v, uh, within the VV um, AR. So when you're actually moving your stuff around the uh, the showrooms, they they can create uh, maybe little little stickers and stuff to show you what each tool does and make the overall functionality and usability more user friendly, uh, which is only going to breed into easier adoption when new users come into this space. Uh, they're also going to be doing or sticking to that first person approach. I don't know if, you, if you've been in the VR where well, you must have, you know, where they walk about, with the, uh, where you can walk about. And it's almost like you, uh, you're seeing it for your own eyes. They're going to be sticking to that first person approach. So I think it's really cool. Uh, it's, it's very immersive, the experience now. So seeing them sit to that uh, is very interesting. And uh, the last thing that uh, I want to touch upon quickly um, Trevor said that he wants to be a, it wants to be a place where you can create your own personalized personalized space um, or shared personalized space, which sort of just breaks into what I just shared in this video. You know that culture they're looking to, uh, to build, that community they're looking to build within the, within the showrooms. Now, uh, if you enjoyed this video, then please consider dropping a like, subscribe if you're new around here. You know, these are some different concepts and ideas that I wanted to share with you. I think the showrooms are a super exciting uh, addition and uh, upgrade uh, into this metaverse and world of the VVverse. So, yeah, like I say, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, then feel free to drop me a comment in the, uh, below. Let me know what you thought, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching, and goodbye, everybody.